everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I haven't done a what did I get video for a couple of weeks, I think it is. And that's just because sometimes I only get maybe one thing and it's not really worth just putting in that one thing for one video. So I've just let it kind of build up. So let me just show you a few things that I've received. First of all, was this wonderful design team package that I got from Trim Craft, along with a wonderful Christmas card. So this is the one here, all I want for Christmas is you. And that is using the winter white Christmas uh, papers. So yeah, that was really nice. So thank you Trim Craft, but this is what they've sent me. So this is the amazing double-sided glitter card and the self-adhesive uh, glitter as well. So I already shared this 12 by 12 pad in the lantern. So that was a week ago now, something like that. And already so many of you have gone and purchased it and said how great you think it is. I have lots of ideas for these going into the new year. It's something that you will just find yourself going to quite a lot. And glitter card can be used all throughout the year. You know, it's not just something that you use at Christmas time. So I think you're gonna like some of the ideas that I've got to share. So you get, well, this is what I've received. I've gone online and there is a lot more as well. So. I'll share all the links below. It's a non-shed 350 GSM, which is what I loved. It is so strong. It's such a lovely cardstock. So this is the 12 by 12 double-sided glitter card. Cuts on all major electronic cutting machines. It is, you get 12 sheets, three of each colour. So in this one here, you get the gold, the silver. This is like a a rose gold and then you've got this kind of like gun metal black you know a blacker silver platinum those kind of colors so it's yeah it's lovely you can see already there's kind of my um off cuts i'm not throwing any of this away so keep every bit of scrap because even these areas here they're perfect for those little smaller die cuts that you might have so that's that one and then here i have the so this is just your it's kind of like your rainbow colors you get the red yellow green blue purple and pink so let me just take this one out so I haven't actually opened this one up so you can see here so this is that purple it's just it's brilliant so there's the two there and you got that beautiful red that's going to make some gorgeous um, Valentine's craft projects there's that lovely yellow Easter project straight away scream to me there so you'll be seeing this feature beautiful green love it um, look at that for like an underwater sea kind of theme and then there's that kind of pinky purple color there so yeah really really lovely like I said nice and thick and then you get here the so this is so that's a double sided in the A4 so you get four of each color here so this is your red your green and white so I've already started cutting in some of the white there as well. So yeah, another nice one. It's also acid and lignin free, so it's great for any of your kind of scrapbooking and things like that that you might be doing. And then this one here is the premium adhesive glitter card. This is the A5, there are other sizes. But you know, whenever I'm doing projects, I when I use like a textured cardstock, so i.e. a glitter card, I always say use a red tape, you know, and things like that. And you can obviously back your normal glitter cards onto a double-sided tape, but it's nice having that all done for you. So here now I can just run that through my dye machine, peel off the backing and stick it onto a piece of acetate, onto a card, you know, and you haven't got the faff of all like your glues and things like that. So on the back here, you have your release paper. Let's just have a little look here. Yeah, it's nice and sticky. So you get the pink. Again, the same colours as in that one I just showed you. So there's the, the blue, the green, that lovely yellow. Yeah, the red. Must be under there. There we go. And then that purple. Such lovely colours. And the sparkle, honestly, that is coming out really well on camera. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it doesn't shed. There's literally nothing anywhere on my desk, none of my clothes. So again, yep, win-win there, Trim Craft. I love it. I think it's such a nice product. So I can't wait to start using that a lot more. Then I received these swatch books from Paper Mill Direct. So they very kindly sent me. It's, these are great and I've already been going to them for reference. So within the here, so it says your textured card and it tells you exactly you know what they are so here is the rich cream card hammered 255 gsm cardstock then i have here an ivory card linen 255 and it's so nice so that you know when i'm thinking of oh, what cards do i need or i could really do with something like that i can flick through here this is lovely this hemp ivory card absolutely gorgeous 255 gsm 
I can go to that and I can go online and put the order in and you know what you're getting because it can be very frustrating sometimes when you see a card stock and it might say you know it's a heavy weight or it says it's smooth and then you get it and it, it isn't or it isn't to what you thought it would be so having something like this is really handy this one here like hop sack I mean, you know, I've never even uh, heard of that one before. This is a rich cream card, 255. Then you've got a linen effect. You've got just all sorts. I mean, so that one, just as an example, is the textured. So they've also sent me sparkle and pearlized. I mean, look, this is a lovely big pad here. Look at that one. It's hard for you to see, but it's almost, can you see? It's like it's um, marble. You know, when you get the, um, the, oh gosh, what is it? I'm trying to, what's that? Like the quartz and stuff in the marble tops. That's what that looks like absolutely gorgeous and you've got it there mercury sparkle this is 300 it's lovely nice and thick that one there rosa sparkle so there's all those then you've got your pearlized ones you can see there that lovely <coughs> excuse me that shine 300 gsm and that goes all the way through they're all pearlized and the colors the variety of colors is amazing that's one thing that stood out to me with paper mill direct i've used them before even joining the design team and there's just yeah They've got every colour imaginable. I mean, there's more even under there as well. I just can't get them all out, but it's beautiful. So that was that one. Then you've got your essentials and your... Get that one through there. There we go. Essentials and colours. So there'll be things like your white, your good white cardstocks in here, your white smooth. So there we go. There's an ivory smooth. There's a white card. So that's, that's more of a, you know, that's, that's like a rougher one, but there's your smooth and it is. So that's perfect for your stamping. Then you've got white card super smooth wow that's even nicer yeah i love that one that's going to be lovely because it's 300 gsm that'd be really nice for your alcohol markers you've got your black there intense and they're so nicely presented you know the just the the printing on here and just the way they've done it all it's really really nice and you can get these on their website so again i will link everything below but there's again tons there i doubt there would be anything here that you think you think of and they haven't got it you know because even if it's not here you can get in contact with them and I'm sure they'll be able to put you in the right direction and then here this is double-sided pearlized so look at this misty rose that's a beautiful color these are all double-sided Christmas red see that'd be a great one for next year's projects um what else we got here just yeah all your colors is that a let's have a little look ultra white card and then you've got natural white ivory Ice White Serio Pearl. You've got all sorts. I love all the different names. But um, yeah, really, really nice. So I've got those four there. So it just makes it much easier when I put in orders now that I know, you know, exactly what I'm getting. So thank you very much, Paper Mill Direct. So then I've got a few magazines. So most of you probably already know that I am on the design team for Papercraft Essentials. So every month I do their shape up feature and um, it will just show you a different fun fold card technique. So I done the pop up one. Some of you will be familiar with this one because it was a very old tutorial. I've done this about two years ago. It's very popular, but it's always nice. You never know what's going to be on the front cover. So when it happens, it's yeah, it's a nice surprise. So this is the card that I done here. Everything um, you know that you need and how to make it. I always do an advanced and then I do a beginner version so there's my tutorial here so this is your beginner version so it's just a simple pop out feature and then you've got that more detailed intricate one with the belly band on the front really fun I do I love working with papercraft essentials and then we always get a complimentary copy and on this one here you get the celebrations card kit so this is a shaker one lovely um, sentiments and stuff a lot of these I tend to put into some of them I use but I also put into my kind of competition box so um, like for giveaways and things like that so this one will probably be added to that because I've got a few nice little giveaways in the new year so keep an eye out for those and then this one here this is a very special magazine so I did I think I done an announcement on Facebook and then I haven't got round to putting up the video on YouTube yet it's probably now going to go up in the new year I entered the card making 2019 competition oh gosh back in it must have been September no because I found out in September that I'd won so it must have been August I basically I entered three days before the closing date and it was basically because of my friends at Trimcraft and in particular Angela who had entered a few years prior and they just encouraged me to do it so I thought I'm going to go for it and then I heard back that I'd won. I had to keep it a secret for two and a half months. And then I had to wait for this issue to come out. So issue 203, the December issue of card making and papercraft inside 
has me as the winner and I am just still very shocked it's still it's just like it caught me off guard the email came through and I burst into tears it just yeah it's just lovely so this is Hayley she sent me the, the happy news and let me just find the pieces so I'm gonna I'm gonna frame this one this uh this spread will go into my uh will go into like a shadow box or something with it all opened up so where is it so here it is here so this is the double spread so there's all the the team at the head office looking at all of the entries and um, yeah you're probably familiar with these because I shared all of these as tutorials on my channel but this is the double display card this was my pop-up display card I may be getting the names wrong this is my tunnel card that I done um, this this little guy here you know I'm very fond of this stamp set and he is I think because I live in Plymouth by the sea, we have a lighthouse that looks just like that. And um, he's just a bit of a lucky charm. He's the one stamp, he's probably my favourite all-time stamp set. And he's now become a bit of a lucky charm for me because, yeah, there's the winning card. This beautiful one here was using the um, the Dovecraft collection garden. Oh gosh, it's gone, gone from my mind anyway. Beautiful card, that one's been really popular. So many of you have, have done your versions of that. And then this one, I love coloring and doing underwater themes. So I tried to do something that showed Funfold cards, my coloring and my own designs, you know? So I love to create things that are different. So this was something that I, you know, I designed myself and along with this one here. And this one was an inspiration from Jennifer Maguire. So they just, yeah, they've all, they were all fun for me to make and they were all something that I, you know, put a lot of thought into when I done them and I just thought they'd be good ones to enter for the competition and they did, they won. So yeah, again, thank you so much. And one of the prizes, well, there's a few prizes actually, I got a thousand pounds worth of craft supplies one was a brother scan and cut which i've been using and i absolutely love it and in the video that i need to still edit to go up has all of that in there but also you get to join the design team and i've already done my first feature which will feature in the january issue i think it was anyway i'll share it nearer the time or once i get it um so that was really nice to do and it's just again i'm very fortunate and i you know i, I don't take any of this for granted it could all end tomorrow so um it's just yeah it's really lovely that this has happened it helps me incredibly with my channel and my blog and just everything because yeah uh, you'll see more of my cards around now so it's uh yeah it's just really nice as you can probably tell in my voice I'm just still very um taken back by it all and very humble so that was the again the issue that they sent me but with it was this gorgeous freebie I absolutely love it so you get the stamp set and this die set now I haven't got around to doing anything Christmas related with it I've just been you know snowed under with obviously tutorials on my channel, personal tutorial, you know, things that I need to do for my own like family and friends and, and commissions, they don't stop. So this one here will work through the new year as well. It's perfect for new home cards. And uh, you've got here, although you've got the trees, you don't have to add, you know, add snow to them or anything like that. This could become a, a spring card. And like I said, a lovely new home. So you've got the snowman there, but you've also got the cat, you've got the bird box. You've got a lovely little frame there, which will cut out these sentiments. And then you've got the house there, but I just really love it. I do, I, I, I'm, I find myself always drawn to kind of home stamps, you know, houses. I like making houses. It's, it's a bit of a thing for me, I think. So you can never have too many of this kind of um, stamp and die set, I don't think. So, and I love like the little brick wall there. That's a die I don't, a little stamp I don't have. So that'd be something that I can use. And the path, again, that's really nice. So I definitely will be using this one. I've got, I have a box of everything that I haven't used yet. So I know that I will always use everything in my craft room at some point. So <laughs> that will be added to it. It was designed by Sally Mountain. So yeah, so thank you massively to Card Making and Papercraft magazine. It, I know I received an overwhelming response of congratulations from so many of you. And again, I'm extremely thankful for all of that. Um, look out for the video in the new year, just to, if you want to have a nose at what I won. Um, I think I cry in that video because I'd done that about a day after I'd received all the product. So, but yeah, I promise I will share it. So those are a couple of magazines and I always, well, I've, I, you know, I recommend many of our crafting magazines, but um, these are, you know, they're just, they are, they're great, especially if you're just starting off in paper craft and um, you know, you're kind of not sure what it is that you, you like to make cards but you don't really know what kind because it's finding that thing you love 
and then I think growing you know that so if it is colouring for example you know there's inspiration in all of these magazines that cross funfold cards, just coloured cards, die cut cards different shaped cards there's just so many ideas so I always recommend the um, any kind of crafting magazines and I'll share all of these ones below for you. I thought I would share the Christmas card that I received from my mum and dad this year now that I know that you know the regular viewers to my channel you will hear me often talk about my passion for vintage cards I have been interested in card making and the just the whole process of giving cards for decades it's something I love to do and I think that stemmed from ch when we were children and my mum and dad we would we saved a lot of our cards we have scrapbooks in our loft full of cards that we were given and then it's lovely to look back on at that point in your life and who you were friends with and then also how the cards have evolved, you know. So I, I absolutely love it. So every year my mum always sends me a vintage card. Sometimes she makes the card, but in it she will have a vintage card that she's found as well. Um, or she may give me the card, but she'll write on a separate piece of paper so the card's not been spoiled. And this year she's excelled herself, and my dad as well. But what she's done is, this is the card that she gave me. There's a lovely message inside that I'm not going to read out because that's that's just for me. But in what she's done, you'll probably recognise this die to anybody that's got the Papercraft Society kit, the first one. This was one of the dies. And then what she's done is she's cut another piece of cardstock on top and she's got this great little kind of punch here that allows you to be able to put pictures in. And in this case, a postcard. But this one here says, hearty Christmas greetings. I'm just going to take it out because you can because there's a lovely message on the back of it. So I'm just going to take that carefully out of there. And this one here, it says it was printed in 1911 down in the corner there. Um, and that was by the Byrne Brothers in New York. It's got this beautiful embossed holly and then all the frame around here and that foiling that runs throughout the frame, that silver. And then on the back here, it's gorgeous, that lovely writing. It says here to Dear Emily, just a postcard, that's what the PC is, to wish you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. We'll write you a letter after Christmas with heaps of love and kisses from Rini. And um, I just, I love little things like that. I love to think like, you know, who are those people? Who's their family now? Um, I just, yeah, I think it's just so nice to kind of, you know, look after these things. So I have a really old letter rack and it's full of old postcards. And I love to sit and flick through them sometimes. You know that I get inspiration from them as well. Sometimes the projects that I share might be the colors that I've used, um, you know, so I'm just gonna pop that back in there carefully. I need to do both at the same time. And then the other one's popped out. I'll do that again later. But also with it, they gave me these. And there was a lady, um, it was from a like a, a Christmas market. And look at these. So they're all these mini little cards. And this one here says, good fortune, spin her wheel right merrily for you. And again, it is embossed. It's kind of fading, but there is a gold embossed um, stamp on that. And it's all been, this is all embossed as well. It's gorgeous. And then inside you have this little piece. And then this is all, can you just kind of pick out the gold there? It says here, time holds in store the choicest gifts. May they be yours in fullest measure, that every joy and happiness be yours this Christmas tide. Is the silence, is the sincere wish of Gertie Larkham, 35 Tankerville Road, Streatham Common, SW, Christmas 1911. I just think that's amazing. So these are like little printed, almost like a telegram really. And um, I just think that is amazing. Then, and then this one here, again, it's all embossed. And this is all embossed. It says greetings and it says they're from Gladys and Fred to M and Tom. And then inside there as well. To wish you a very good day and a jolly old time of it after. I think it's lovely. And on the back here it says, made, it's made in London designed and it's got somewhere in England, printed in, again, I need to kind of really look into that, I need a magnifying glass. Then there's this one here, may I come in, <laughs> fondest greetings. It's got a little dog there and all the snow and the, the rain's kind of pounded down, the two cats are nice and dry underneath. I think that's really sweet. And this one here says, may you have a joyous time at Christmas and lots of fun in the coming year from, and that one's never been used. So again, you know, so much age to that and to have one that's, it's like, it's like new old stock, you know, um, again, absolutely love it. And then this one here, and this has got made in England, New York and Toronto. 
Hills Distinctive. And this is with all good wishes for Christmas and the coming year. And then you pull this piece out here. And again, this one's not been used. And it says two. And then it just says with all good wishes from a for a joyous Yuletide. And then it's got from. Again, absolutely love it. I'm just going to carefully pop that one back in there. But how special are those? I mean, some of you might not have any interest in this whatsoever. But for me, it's just... I just think it's wonderful that these things have still been, you know, so well looked after and will continue to be now. And I've got some lovely Easter ones. I have just so many wonderful, very old cards and I love it. It's like my little thing that I like to collect. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed me sharing my Christmas card there from my mum and dad. And um, maybe one day I'll do a separate video on the ones that I've got and you can kind of look through them. And um, let me know, because I know many of you, when I do share things like this, lots of you say that you've still got your family's old cards and things like that. So, um, yeah, I always like to read those. But, yeah, just sort of share those. And then I will got to share with you this absolutely gorgeous bear. So the lovely Rachel sent me this one. She's made this, and it is gorgeous. And the, the wonderful thing is when I opened it up, I thought, oh, my gosh, I can smell chocolate. And it's basically got a chocolate fudge scent on her. And it's... I can still smell it. It's not overpowering, like you can't, you know, you don't walk in the room and you get hit by it. It's it's there. I can smell it now because I'm close to it. But she's all jointed. She's got these gorgeous little hearts here. I still can't believe that you have made this. This is a little message that Rachel sent me and I've just thought I'm going to roll it up and keep it in the scarf there because I just think that looks really nice. So she sits on my shelf. She's got such an adorable little face and she's so soft. I just loved it. It was not what I was expecting at all. And I just, this is one of the things that I really like is that we all do different crafts. We all make different things. And it's so nice to appreciate and enjoy something different than paper craft. So um, thank you so, so much for this. I showed my mum and she was like, that is amazing. And then I said to her, yeah, it's been made. And um, we just couldn't believe it. And, you know, Rachel, as we do, I think all the time, you know, she said, oh, there are mistakes and she's not perfect. I think you've done an amazing job, certainly better than I could do. It's not something that I'm, <laughs> I've ever attempted. So I, yeah, I adore it. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, have a lovely Christmas, Rachel. And then I want to share the latest paper discovery release. So um, I have already featured tutorials of this product and well, the pocket watch you've gone absolutely crazy for. So many of you have purchased it and good on you because I think it's a brilliant die set. It's so unusual. It's something like no other that I have and I already have a few more projects to do with that. So I'm going to talk you through everything here. So I got the, this is the, A. it says A5, but it's six by six. Time on your hands embossing folder. So I'm not sure the A5, maybe that's just meant to be for something else. But it says embossing folder. Maybe there is an A5 one and this one's just been put on the wrong one by mistake. But it's definitely six by six. <laughs> I'm just going to double check now for my own peace of mind. Yeah. So this one here, gorgeous. And I use the centre of that for the pocket watch. And it says here, always on the back, it tells you other collection, you know, other um, products within the collection that it coordinates with. So this one here coordinates with the time on your hands die and stamp set, which is what I used. And that one is... Let me just show you it so you can keep it all together because some of you should be receiving yours by now I would have thought so this is the the one that it coordinates with so you get the stamp and then this huge die set and this is what I use to make the pocket watch but also you can make this gorgeous clock here and I've got a tutorial I'm just finishing it up it will probably come out just after Christmas because I'm just kind of really tying up all of the Christmas projects now. They're all done. I've got a couple to edit, but everything's done now. And I'm actually tidying away all my Christmas supplies. So, yeah, you've got Christmas projects up until Christmas. And then it will be um, things like this. So it's beautiful. You get the cogs and everything. It's just so fun. So have a look at the tutorials there. There's two that I've done so far. Just if you want to see them. You know, if you haven't seen any of those yet, have a look. Because, um, yeah, loads of you have been like, this is amazing. And, um, yeah, it's just fun. There's lots and lots of ways to use it. So that was that. And then I had got this one as well, which I've done two cards for, but I haven't done tutorials, so I will do them again. I've got a few more ideas for this one. So this is the next one from this one that Olga done. So this is the Elegant Room Builder die set, which was the Christmas one, which I've done a card. Well, now she's done this one, which and everything mixes together. So I took elements of this, like the dog and cat, for example, and put it in here. And you, you don't have a fire in this one, but you've got the fire there. So you can add it with that sofa and that chair. You've got the stockings that you can have hanging along the fire. You know, there's so many different ways to do it. Because with this one, it was a stamp, I think you got, first of all. Um, 
but it's lovely, it's really, really nice. And then that one coordinates with the stamp set, which is this one here, which I've used, with also this one here. So that creates your kind of wallpaper. There's your parquet flooring, your skirting, your kind of picture rails. So that's that scene there that you can use, but you can also just have that section there if you just want a nice decorative background. So that was those ones. Again, so fun to, to use. Olga's attention to detail is brilliant. And then, so that one was, oh yeah, and that was the stamp set that went with this one that I got for Christmas. And have it, you know, check out the Christmas ones because you'll start to see a lot of sales going on now. And Craft Sash are brilliant. They always do, you know, like random 20% days. You get 20% off your first purchase anyway. They deliver worldwide. Sometimes have free shipping days. So just, you know, check them out. Subscribe to their emails, then you get, you, you know, you'll, you'll never miss out. And then this was an older one which I made a lovely Christmas card with, but again, it's not just Christmas. So although she has like the coordinating pieces that will make it Christmassy, this again will make a lovely, you know, new home kind of card. Um, they're just beautiful, really, really lovely. And you can see how big they are there and things like this you can use in lots of other things as well. And then this one here, which many of you have gone and got, it's lovely. And this is, so it coordinates with this one here, which I don't have, and that's the mini houses to make like a snow globe. But I made a snow globe using the snowflake and I filled it up with artificial snow, and but it also makes a lovely decoration. But so many other ideas, I thought you could make it, you could have a money box, so you can just take the top off, um, take the top off, put a little hole in the top, like a slit, so you can put money in. And they make great tree decorations, because you don't have to add the base. You can have them as really fancy cards, party invites, it's just really good. So, and again, these circles and everything here coordinates with the stamp set from first one I showed you the time on your hands so you can make it as a little you know clock um, or you can have it as just you know a shaker just a nice you know ornament so so it literally everything really kind of works together within this so don't you know sometimes you buy like a die set and you kind of use it a few times and you've you kind of done what you wanted with it and then they just get kind of forgotten I've got dies like that and they're so far back now that I don't go to them anymore but when you've got stuff that constantly coordinates with other things it makes you go back to those older ones and bring them out and kind of you know just revamp them again and um, I think that's lovely so I like that um, I think you're getting a lot more for your money than you know just buying that and then it never worked with anything else again so that's those and then lastly I've got these panels which um, so these are your timeless panels die set and these will work with everything really but I mean you've got the cogs there so if you did want to do just a nice card you could do the pocket watch with all the cogs in the background um, you could do the you know have cogs and then have the sentiments that just say things like you know time to relax um, what else have you got here time for yourself enjoy the good times you, the word time can be used in such a good way um, and it, yeah, I, my mind just kind of goes into a bit of an overdrive really and um, this will definitely be coming out for Father's Day because there's so many great ideas that I've got for it. So yeah, if you love that kind of thing and you like dyes, you like detail, then you will love Paper Discovery because again, yeah, it's got all of that on there. So I love it. So, so thank you Craft Stash for sending me that. And then the lovely guys at Arteza have sent me these um, Easy Blend markers. So I've already got the collection, I've got the full set. But I wanted to to try the grey tones and the portrait tones, which is like your skin tones, because that's the one thing that they don't have that in the main pack. I mean, they have those similar colours, but I wanted to it, just have them all, really. <laughs> so they very kindly sent them to me, because I do, I really rate these. I think they're lovely for my level of colouring. Um, and they're just a lovely marker, and I know lots of you have got them, and you agree. So... Yeah, I do I do collaborate with Arteza. I feature their products a lot. I've got their mat here, which I love, and it's in all my videos. I use their cutting knives, which I really enjoy. And I can't wait to get stuck into more colouring in the new year because it's not I haven't done as much of it through Christmas because I've had other commitments. But these are the 36 Everblend markers. And like I said, you get the grey tones. And then this one here is the portrait tones. And they give you all the colours there, but also our link below. If, if again, Arteza's is a new thing for you, check out their website. Their customer service is exceptional. Their delivery is really, really quick, and their prices are really, really good. And again, they do lots of good discounts. They do lots of offers, and they've got some great deals on there at the moment. So these ones here, you can get, but you can get replaceable tips for them, and you can buy them individually as well. But they're blendable, alcohol-based inks, replaceable nibs, and non-toxic. So again, I'll share all that, and you will see this in a lot more detail. 
they also sent me a wonderful Christmas box which I'm going to do a separate video on I'll probably share these again in that video as well um, and I'll unbox them and things like that just so you can see them a little bit clearer but if you want to see how these Everblend markers work check out this video here where I actually go into more detail with them and do some really nice colouring and um, yeah and then you can you know go from there really but there's everything that I've shared today I can't wait to start the new year. It's nice to now go in the new year with new products to use. Um, I've got a list of ideas. I've got a list of requests. So I will try and get to them, you know, as and when. And yeah, thank you for watching. So all the links will be shared below as always. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. See you then. Bye.